At the booth of FCA, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, a lot is about anniversaries because Fiat is celebrating its 120th birthday here at the Geneva Motor Show. Especially for the 120th anniversary of the brand Fiat, we find these special models here of the 500, 500X and 500L. And they're not only looking different at the exterior, they're also featuring loads of technology as standard. But I think more important is Fiat brought a real world premiere to the show as well. Perfect for the 120th anniversary of Fiat, we find a concept car here. Klaus, what is this concept all about? So this is the Fiat Centoventi celebrating 120 years of Fiat. And we thought, what better way to celebrate the birthday of Fiat than with a concept that shows what we think is Fiat's core responsibility, democratization of mobility. And this concept is fully electric with a battery range, depending on the customer expectation and need between 100 and 500 kilometers. But more than that, an endless array and possibilities of customization, whether it's colors, which we're not the only ones to offer it, but this one goes much further. You can configure how many seats you need, what kind of seats you need. The seats are constructed in a very, very simple way with endless opportunities to, again, customize the softness of the cushion, the color of the cushion, the content of the dashboard. So there's so many ideas in this vehicle that for us really symbolize what Fiat is all about. Clever design with the customer in mind and democratization of the mobility. The 124 Spider Rally Tribute should remind us of all the titles Abarth won in the last season. But more important is Abarth is celebrating its 70th anniversary here at the Geneva Motor Show. And therefore, they brought a very nice new car as well. The Abarth 595 SAS is a tribute to the original tuning kit out of the 60s from Abarth. And this car not only features a Brembo braking system and a beautiful interior, it also features the most powerful engine ever built into a Fiat 500. And this one here delivers only 180 horsepower. Alfa Romeo and heritage means motorsport and this year after a very long time we will find an Italian driver into the Formula One again and what car will he drive for sure an Alfa and perfectly matching with that Alfa now shows two special models of the Giulia and of the Stelvio and they call them Alfa Romeo racing but I think more important is Alfa brought something special to the show a concept where I think loads of the Alfa fans waited for quite a long time. So one of my biggest and positive surprises, I found a new Alfa Romeo here. And Klaus, I have a question. Um, what is that all about? How much Alfa Romeo is that? Well, of course, it's 100% Alfa Romeo. And being our second entry into the SUV market, we resisted the temptation to just scale down the Stelvio design. Instead, we use fresh elements, elements from the past, but also elements from the future of Alfa Romeo. You will find elements from the GT Junior from 1963, but you also have those high-tech laser front lights. So it's an attempt, and I think a successful result, to combine the past of Alfa Romeo, but at the same time really give you a glimpse of the future of, of Alfa Romeo with state-of-the-art technology. Uh, Klaus, we, of course this is a concept, but how much, if you ever produce a car like that, how much of that will come to production and when could this happen? So of course the Journal is a concept, but it consists of all the elements that we will always see in an Alfa Romeo, whether it will be a CUV or any other Alfa Romeo. Hence got the beautiful surfaces, state-of-the-art technology, an exciting, exhilarating uh, visual experience. So no matter what will happen to this very car, but those elements you will always see in the future. Now we do see the first part of the electrification here at Jeep in Geneva because we do have two models here, the Compass and the Renegade, as plug-in hybrid cars. The interesting thing here is the engine is working with a 1.3-litre combustion engine and this is combined with an electric engine. And so these cars deliver up to 240 horsepower of system power and they can drive up to 50 kilometers purely electric. And the CO2 emission with that car should then be only 50 gram per 100 kilometer. 